Hey guys, how are my beautiful people doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Dan and today I'm gonna review for you guys one of the best sunscreens on the market at the moment. Uh, this is the Clears um, <laughs> Soft Airy UV Essence Everyday Sun Protector. And this is one of the best chemical sunscreens right now. Uh, before I start the review, however, please consider following me on Instagram, on Facebook, Definitely subscribe to this channel for more reactions like this. Check me out on my Patreon where I post exclusive content. And um, did I just say reactions? Okay, <laughs> guys, I have a second channel where I post music reactions, and I think I've posted like more than 500 videos over there. That is why I'm so used to say reaction videos, but. On this channel, I'm posting skincare related videos, product reviews, nutrition, supplements. Okay. But if you are interested in music reactions, I'm gonna leave the second channel down below so you can check it out. Okay. So I'm gonna start with the packaging. And I mean, besides being a pretty convenient packaging, you just open it, uh, applying the product. This one looks bomb. I mean, this one looks great. It's It just looks so fancy, so expensive i wish my camera would focus come on no <laughs> it, it, yeah this one looks good this is around 20 dollars, but i always buy it on sale on yes style and i usually pay like 17 dollars. i would say for 80 mils that's pretty good that's pretty good it's not one of the most affordable sunscreens but you cannot beat that texture the the, the when it comes to the texture let, let me just talk about the texture this is one of the best sunscreens it just, oh wow, well, that's enough. It's just so lightweight, so, mm, just so fluid, so, I don't know, I have a sunscreen on my hands at the moment. I have the Eucerin, I have this one already, uh, but, so nice, so nice. I love the texture of this one. The finish, however, it's not matte, it's not dewy, it's more on the matte side, but it's not matte, it's pretty hydrating, I would say. This sunscreen, it's, it's gonna work great for normal skin, dry skin, and oily skin. This is kind of like an overall great sunscreen <laughs> for everybody. It's not as matte as the Purito uh, Comfy Water Sunblock SPF 50 plus, P plus, 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 but it's really nice. When it comes to the texture, for me, this is a 10 out of 10. Probably, yeah, this is kind of like a 9 out of 10 because it's not as matte and I really like matte sunscreen because I'm super oily and at the end of the day, I'm, I look pretty gre greasy using this one, especially applying two or three layers on this one. So keep that in mind. And by the way, uh, if you are wondering what this is, this is uh, sunscreen. This is not what you think. This is this sunscreen because I applied this on my neck and this is a combination sunscreen is mineral and physical. I have a review on my channel about, um, for this one so you can check it out but this has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide so I guess that's why I have this line yeah so texture wise amazing sunscreen when it comes to the uh, protection this is an SPF 50 plus I always recommend 50 plus uh, even during winter time uh, PA plus four pluses. I always recommend 50 plus because this way you get really good UVA protection. Uh, I, I guess I'm gonna talk ab about that um, in a in a future video. That's that's very important. Always go for 50 or if you can 50 plus. 50 plus is the best. 30 is not the best because you 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 don't get a good UVA protection with that because companies are not allowed to uh, are not 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 allowed. Companies are not required to uh, disclose the UVA uh, protection of their sunscreens. So, so when you use 50 plus sunscreens, you'll get at least 20 PPD, which is UVA protection. Okay, back to Claire's. Uh, I have it on my skin, on my face, just for you to know. As you can see, I look pretty, well, I don't look shiny, but this camera actually kind of like amplifies all of your imperfection. <laughs> I don't look this shiny in real life. However, I applied this three hours ago, so that's pretty normal for me. But it's, uh, it, my God, this review is all over the place. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. 
Um, this one has fragrance. It is not fragrance free. It has one essential oil. Let me just, I'm not sure which one exactly. Give me just a second. A citrus orantium dolcius oil. I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that. That's an essential oil. It's pretty low on the ingredient list. Um, it, if you smell this, it barely has any scent. So I don't think it's problematic. However, if you know you have extremely, extremely sensitive skin, then I would say you should avoid this one. When it comes to the filters, the sunscreen filters, this one has given all T150. That's a very good UVB filter. It protects your skin from UVB even in very low concentration. So it's a powerful, powerful uh, filter when it comes to UVB rays. Then we have even all A+, which is a great uh, UVA filter, and uh, it's very stable. It's not gonna degrade. Di yeah, that's the word, degrade in, in sunlight. So great, great chemical organic filters. I really appreciate that. SPF 50 plus, uh, I guess the PPD, which is the UVA uh, rating on this one, is higher than 20 i'm not sure definitely it's higher than 16 because it has four pluses but i'm pretty sure it's higher than 20 which is great it's great uva protection uh when it comes to ingredients this also has niacinamide which is my favorite ingredients of all time it's very good for reducing pore size acne skin barrier brightening your skin it's overall one of the best ingredients on the market and this one has 2%, I think. I'm not sure about that. It also has a lot of humectants like uh, butylene glycol, hyal hyaluronic acid. Um, what else? What else? It has uh, an antioxidants like vitamin E. Uh, besides that, this one has uh, pretty good uh, soothing ingredients, kind of like anti-aging ingredients. Mm, adenoside, uh, beta-glucan, panthenol, allantoin. Overall, great, great formula. I don't know, this, this sunscreen is really... I would give it a 9, maybe 9.5 out of 10. It's great. It's not as matte as I wish it was. Well, no, this is a 9 out of 10 because it also has a little bit of fragrance. So, uh, it's not... It is pretty matte, but it's not... I want like something really, really matte because I'm very oily. But that's just my thing. Many people don't really want that, so it's gonna be perfect for a lot of people. This is more matte, and I like this one. I use both of these, it depends, I don't know. Someday, when I need, I feel like I need more hydration and I don't have to go anywhere, I don't have to look matte, I would use this one. Uh, on days where I don't need that much of uh, hydration, especially in the summer, I would use this one, yeah. This one has no white cast, so people with darker skin tone are gonna be able to use this one with no problem. Man, this is, it's not the best, well, Purito unscented sunscreen. That's, in my opinion, the best sunscreen on the market at the moment. Maybe not the best, but the most versatile. Every, everyone can use that. And the second place, I would give it to this one. Even though this one is my favorite, this, this is not for everybody, because this is not that hydrating, it's pretty matte, it's a mineral sunscreen, it has a little bit of white cast, so it's not gonna be great for darker skin tones. When it comes to this one, I don't know, it's just perfect. Perfection. Yeah, so that's my review for Eclair's Soft Airy UV Essence Everyday Sun Protector. I really love this one, my experience with this one has been great. And I really recommend it for you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you tried this one, what do you think about it, what other sunscreens I should check. Leave some questions in the comments below, maybe I'll answer to those in future videos. I hope you enjoyed this review, you find it helpful. If you did so, give it a thumbs up. And uh, that's it guys, I will see you all in my next video.